The purpose of this training is to teach you the basics of checking out and returning of interlibrary loans or ILL items. Staff will be working with interlibrary loans primarily at the main service center. Patrons will be checking out materials that have come in as well as returning materials when they have finished using them. These materials are most often books, but can also be music scores, dissertations, or audiovisual materials like CDs, DVDs, or microfilm. Up front, it is important to take your time when performing these tasks. Mistakes are inevitable, but we want to do our best to prevent them in order to provide the best service to our patrons. So, what happens when a patron has an interlibrary loan to pick up? The first thing we do is ask to see their case ID card. This is to ensure we pull the right items from the shelf. These books do not belong to KSL or CWRU, and we want to make sure the right item is handed to the patron. Patrons are responsible for this item until it is returned to library staff. After confirming the patron's name, go over to the ILL cabinet and retrieve the requested materials. Each item has a paper slip with the patron's name and are shelved alphabetically by last name. Once you have retrieved the item, it is now time to check it out. First, take out the paper slip and have the patron sign and date it. After the patron signs the slip, now check out the item using the Iliad web circulation page. Place the cursor in the text field next to checkout and scan the barcode on the label. The page will refresh with a message letting you know that the item was properly checked out. After checking the item out, don't forget to desensitize the book before handing it to the patron. After handing the item to the patron, remember to mark the checkout box and initial the bottom of the paper slip. After initialing the slip, place it in the basket in the ILL cabinet. When checking out materials, be on the lookout for any extra messages on the label. Sometimes it is to inform the patron that the item is in poor condition, or it is to let them know that the book cannot be renewed. The most important message to be on the lookout for are materials marked Library Use Only. Library Use Only materials cannot leave the building, thus the patron needs to come into the library to use it. The item comes with an extra slip of paper that is used to record when the patron uses it. It is important to let the patron know when an item is Library Use Only. Even if the patron cannot use the item at this time, we still want to check it out and have them sign the slip. It is important to remember not to desensitize Library Use Only materials. When a patron wants to use a library use only item, pull it from the shelf and hand it to the patron, but keep the paper slip with a stop sign on it. Write down the date and time that the item was taken out. Then place the slip in the pocket on the side of the ILL basket. When the item is returned, fetch the paper slip from the pocket and mark the return time. The slip is then placed back in the item. Keep in mind, when a patron is done using the material, ask them if they will be back at a later date to use it again. If you are unsure if they are completely done, it is better to place it back on the ILL shelf than to accidentally return it. Now we move to checking in ILL materials. Patrons are allowed to place items in the book drop or in person at the main desk. Pull up the Iliad web circulation page and place the cursor in the text field next to Mark Return. Then scan the barcode on the label. The page will refresh, confirming that the item was returned. If the item is part of a multi-part set, a new window will appear asking you to confirm the number of items. If all items are accounted for, click the Mark Return text on the side of the page. After checking the item in, mark the checkbox on the label and set it in the ILL basket. If all the items are not there, do not check it in. Inform the patron that there are missing pieces and hand it back to them. If the patron is not there, set it aside for ILL staff who will contact the person about the missing parts. This concludes the basics of interlibrary loan activities performed at the desk. If there are any questions, please feel free to contact the ILL staff. Thank you.